Hey guys, this is John here in Los Angeles with the Alpha Channel Update for Thursday, September 26th, 2024. And we have the Yggdrasil deck. We're going to start with that today. This one's pretty cool. This is not the sort of thing you find in the usual tarot deck. <clears throat> this is Amrun, the known unknown. Amrun, the known unknown. It also looks like this artist is getting better as he goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you guys might remember the unknown unknowns that Donald Rumsfeld said. We have known unknowns and unknown unknowns. He was talking about the weapons of mass destruction that, uh, what's his name, Powell, the black dude, said that they were there. This is all lies done by the Jews. Rumsfeld did another lie, though, that the Jews were really jealous of. He owned a large, uh, substantial amount of Roach, uh, Roach Pharmaceuticals, R-O-A-C-H, I believe, or maybe R-O-C-H-E. And they're the ones who did the Tamiflu vaccine a long time ago, and he got rich off that because all the scary people went and got the shots. The Jews saw that and then did COVID on steroids. Jews are the biggest problem in the world, you guys. We're going to get rid of them. And then we're going to get rid of the rest of you. Today we're doing Conan number, uh, what is this, <clears throat> 84. Conan on a horse. Good cover. This is Roy Thomas and Ernie Chan. This does not have, uh, what's his name, who helped last time. And whose name I forgot. Howard Chaikin. Howard Chaikin was doing pencils and Ernie Chan was finishing. But this is all Ernie Chan. And he's very much like, he even uses, check this out. This is from John Buscema. John Buscema used heavy black outlines on his flashbacks. I had noticed that but never commented on it. And now I'm seeing it here carried over with Ernie. And Howard Chaikin probably did it too. And it's great. Because now we know that these panels, sorry there's a couple pages of ads. I should tell you what's going on too. Basically what's happened is Conan has returned to a city where he had to do some missions for them because they had Bellet hostage. And Bellet has split. Uh, they tried to, this priest here had a nightmare. So like Jews have nightmares about white people and decide they have to put them in prison and come up with uh, different sort of crimes to charge them with to put them in prison. And here we go. Uh, <clears throat> He goes and tells Bella he's going to put her in jail. He won't murder her, but he has to put her in prison for life because he had a nightmare and she scared him. So she, of course, says, that's not going to work for me, and goes on the run, fights them off, gets a, gets a, gets a knife to the throat of the king, this priest, and tells him that she's going to leave with his handmaiden, and they let her go. Conan then comes in, and he does not get uh, any warmer welcome because Bellet now has this princess, this king's, this high priest's um, love interest. They're going to hold Conan hostage until Bellet comes back, until she learns that he's there and, and she comes back. Now, for Conan, they break out a net. They didn't bother with that with Bella, or with Bellet. And this guy, uh, this big black dude right here, you may recognize from future Conan books. I guess this is his introduction. He comes out and knocks Conan out with a double-handed strike to the side of the head. And Conan is then dragged down to prison. They explain, basically, there's a lot of talking. As you can see, there's a lot of word balloons carrying the story along. But it's really pretty simple. Bellet's on the run with this guy's girlfriend. And they're going to keep Conan hostage till she comes back, till she brings her back. Conan is not having it. He tries to break out. And this guy down here, the very blue, dark black, introduces himself as Zula. They had this character in the, uh, I want to say, it was a different guy in the um, Jason Momoa Conan movie. But basically, he's the character played by Damon Hansen in Gladiator. Uh, also played by Morgan Freeman in Robin Hood with Kevin Costner. Basically a little bit of Jew diversity here in the late 70s. Uh, at least they didn't have Conan sleeping with a black girl, though they did that in another issue later on in the 200s. 
And uh, here is Bellet and this girl, the slave girl. She, the slave girl is leading her into where they need to get to. Bellet's looking for her father, and they had to go somewhere else to deal with these. Uh, this, the temple of Set. The slave girl has led her into this snake temple where they do a ritual, and apparently. I'm not quite sure, but it seems like they have transferred their consciousness into these two pythons, the two sleeping pythons that were in the temple. And now Bellet and this other girl, Mirath, are snakes. And their bodies are now unconscious in the temple room, in this temple, whatever, set temple, temple of set. So here's Conan and Zula. Zula makes Conan promise to accompany him to... Uh, help him on his mission after he escapes because he's got some shit he needs to do. And Conan agrees and Zula produces a vial of acid, enough acid to eat through their chains on their wrists. So that's magical. You know, he's only wearing, he's only wearing a chia loincloth, but this black dude has a vial of, has a vial of hydrochloric acid. Okay. Conan and Zula call down the guards and attack them, thereby getting two swords, because the guards bring their swords, and, uh, and light into them. Destroy an entire guard house full of soldiers. This is a great comic. This is all action. I couldn't do this. This would be really hard for me to do. And I just came up with a great uh, ending for my Modern, Modern Savages comic, issue number one, that I have to get back to work on. I've mostly been writing the last few weeks. I haven't been drawing a lot. Uh, I should explain what's going on here. Conan and Zula are escaping, and they get to the hawk roost. Uh, we did some of these in the past, and they were still dealing with these guys. I think this is the Jewel of Ophir that Conan is just returning from. We missed like an issue or two. And uh, they hijack a couple hawks. So that's pretty awesome. That's a great Conan story. And yeah. That's it. Conan number uh, 84. So, yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> some of you guys may have noticed I reviewed a Cyber Frog book last couple days. Um, I should have gotten Blood Honey, but I didn't have it. I had Wrecked Planet, and I wanted to read it, and I read it, and it was in the middle of a story. Kind of like how this is in the middle of a story, but Wrecked Planet is bigger. It's a much thicker, as you can see. A much thicker book. I didn't count the pages, but there's a lot of them. It's a great book. It's way more ambitious. Uh, I would have liked it more if he'd have been able to crush the events into smaller, more rewarding, shorter bits. Um, the half hour action show is not a bad idea. It can be done. I mean, it's basically what cartoons were. You know, I never got into the original X-Men, the 97 X-Men. I did see uh, the Kitty Pride X-Men. They did a pilot with Kitty Pride and Colossus called Pride of the X-Men, P-R-Y-D-E -E of the X-Men. Uh, Colossus was in there. Wolverine was in there. Wolverine wore the blue and, or not the blue, the brown and yellow suit. Cyclops, everyone, the great, even Dazzler, I think, was in it. What was great about that cartoon, it's a single uh, episode. You can probably watch it on YouTube. I'll look and see if there's a link to it and put it in the description. All the characters are correct. Cyclops is a natural leader. He doesn't leave people behind and then have to argue with Wolverine about it. That first episode of 97 X-Men, the original that animated this series, X-Men animated series, I couldn't watch it because it was already anti-white propaganda fucking with Cyclops. This problem the Jews have presented us with has been going on for a long time. And it's really building to a fever pitch now. Um, I might be the only person in your life talking about it. The rest of you, your life might be a simple thing where you don't have to confront this regularly. I do. I work in the entertainment industry and the Jews are in my face all the time. Because that's, this, is my, this is my bread and butter. So this is my career path. I need to address the problem that is the Jews. This is Legacy of a Mad Scientist, a story about Ashley Fox and her brother Jeff going on the run from corrupt government agents who want to seize her father's inheritance to her, a uh, artificial intelligence called the Micronics. And this is the legend of Ashley Fox. Ashley is a couple years older and she's now an orphan. She and her brother have to unite the 
gangs against the serial killer administration of a juvenile delinquent uh, orphanage facility. <clears throat> and this is our comic, Ashley Fox, Last Valkyrie. Check it out. It's here in the description for you guys to look at, waste some time with, and uh, I don't know. I am obviously complaining about the Jews and the blacks. I don't like the way America has become a third world. I don't like what's happened to Europe. This has all been done deliberately, and obviously you guys know this. I'm not saying anything you don't know. I'm not telling you anything you haven't heard before. I'm just complaining. Um, I have made it to from 70 days. We're down to 65 days. So it's been five days since I mentioned my... I don't know if I mentioned it or not the last couple days. But I've got this crypto scam going on where I need to raise three and a half thousand dollars to possibly get 10, as much as almost 10 grand. Um, so we'll see. It's going to take me, you know, a few paychecks, five paychecks to do it. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, if this works out, what does it mean for me? Is it going to substantially change my life? Absolutely. It will substantially, not just as one payment. The thing is, it's a group that I would participate in daily and could be earning significant more money than I am right now. So I'm looking forward to that. And if that works out for me, I am going to use that money to develop video games, comic books, not just comics. We're going to start with video games. The comic books are going to be promotional material for the video games. Everything is promotional material for the video game, which is just going to be a website called alphachannel.games. You guys can check it out right now. Drop your email address and we will invite you once it goes live. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.